What's up? Whoa, what's up? What up, you gang? It's your boys. <laughs> it's your boys. We're back with a cult favorite for another. What's we call? Booze Brew. Booze Brew. Welcome back. It's been a while, but Dan and I went on a little road trip and we went to the most famous booze, meaning the most famous IPAs, New England IPAs. We searched the history of our favorite style, which if you haven't noticed, is all we review. And you know what? We've been drinking so much that we can't stop. Correct. We had to enlist the help of AI to create the, the scripts for today because we've had too many beers and they're too delicious. And so we can't be trusted to know what we're saying. So thank you for this episode. What's up, beer geeks? Welcome back, Booze Brews. I'm Dan. And I'm Lauren. Today we're talking about a beer that's basically a celebrity wow. in the craft beer world. And that is Julius I P A from Treehouse Brewing. It's from Massachusetts. If you don't know it, then you might be living under a rock or you might hate beer or yourself. Untapped scores, I'm talking 4.7. Hello, cult following. Cult following. Cult following. Absolutely. It's the IPA that's been that people have been driving hours for. This hazy New England IPA has put Treehouse on the map. Julius is loaded with Citra, Amarillo, and Centennial hops. Basically, it's a juicy hop bomb. Mouthfeel? Creamy as hell. Like, like cloud fruit. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> I would eat a cloud fruit. Uh, would you eat a cloud fruit? What? It's a hazy IPA that's tropical, balanced, and dangerously easy to drink. It's smooth, carbonation, low bitterness, thanks to that hazy style. It's why people call this one of the best IPAs ever made. Yummy. Final thoughts. Julius isn't just a beer, it's an IPA that's legit. Cheers to Julius, the beer that ruined all other IPAs for us. <sighs> like, subscribe, and let us know what beer you'd pair with this legend. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you. That's not very funny. Uh -uh. That's funny.